check out one of my audiobooks, ebooks, paperbacks down in the description below. My last video was about two gang members in Bakersfield, California who went on a killing spree. And now I'm going to do a Simpsons video. Treehouse of Horror. Because it's that time. They were funny then. Still funny now. Let's go. Hello, everyone. The very first one. I remember this clear as day. I remember um, we had a teacher in elementary. And the weekend after this aired on TV, we went back to class, you know, on Monday or whatever. And she was all happy. She was all excited because they showed um, Edgar Allan Poe. And she was all into it. And she, was, she started explaining who Edgar Allan Poe was. I remember that. I call it Bad Dream House. <laughs> <laughs> bad Dream House. That would be a terrible um, movie title. And a dollar for yourself. A buck. I'm glad there's a curse on this place. Huh? <laughs> I used to be a mover. I remember that. Some people used to give us $100 tips. And some people used to just buy us lunch. And very few wouldn't give us shit. Prime location, 18 bedrooms, Mo. We shouldn't be 18 bedrooms. So we got a good deal for one. Good. Out. What on earth was that? Hmm. Probably just your house settling. <laughs> the house settling. I can feel an evil presence in this house. Evil? Why, at least you're scaring your mother. Children, get your clothes. <laughs> you know he's scared. Right you must kill them all. They all must die. Are you my conscience? I... Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, that's the exorcist right there. It's an ancient Indian fairy. Hold on, I gotta pause that. What does that say? Gandhi, Sitting Bull, Pocahontas. Oh, he's Indian. Oh, okay. Yeah, that wouldn't work now. Somebody complained. Tonto, not so crazy horse. <laughs> crazy horse. Geronimo. I remember that there used to be this old school beer called Crazy Horse back in the 90s. I wonder what happened to that. When you sold me this house, you forgot to mention one little thing. You didn't tell me it was built on an Indian burial ground. <laughs> no, you did it. He says he mentioned it five or six times. <laughs> you gotta believe him too. You will die. You know what's sad? That the the original voice actress for Marge Simpson passed away, so they had to find someone new. But you can tell that the voice is different. Not too much, but you can kind of tell. Hey man, we own you. Let's see some blood. I don't have. We own you. You. Don't talk to her like that. Hey, listen, lady. Well, don't hey, listen, lady. <laughs> My name is Marge Simpson. I guess this is supposed to be like a parody of uh, the Poltergeist, right? Wow. Wow, you heard um, Bart say, bitchin'. Back then, I was like crazy. Like, to hear a, a cartoon say that? Man. Oh, yeah. Homer just listening. <laughs> well, how about? Hungry or the damn? Oh, okay. This is the one where the aliens show up for the first time. Don't you worry. You speak English. I am actually speaking right Chilean. By an astonishing coincidence, both of our languages are exactly the same. Well, what are you going to do with this man? Well, thank you very much, mister. To pronounce it correctly, I would have to pull out your tongue. Wait, he just said that by coincidence, English and their language is exactly the same. But right now, he said, uh, to pronounce my name correctly, I was to pull out your tongue. The hell? Let's get some applesauce out here for these pork chops. 
apple salt and, and pork chop. Oh, wife. On this cable system, we receive over one million channels from the furthest reaches of the galaxy. You get HBO? No, that would cost extra. And over here is our <laughs> crowning achievement in amusement. Oh, technology. man. Look at big ass Homer. <laughs> they thought we were going to eat them. Good God. Is this some kind of joke? No. They're, They're serious. serious. We merely provided a sumptuous banquet. Frankly, you people made pigs of yourselves. <laughs> I swear to be for days. I'm about to read you a classic tale of terror by Edgar Allan Poe. Ah, here we go. That's a school book. It's called The, the Raven. Raven. I nodded, nearly napping. Suddenly, I think that's uh, James Earl Jones, Jones doing the voiceover. Did some visitor. I muttered. This was considered like very scary when it first came out. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be I mean the poem, not the cartoon. Many people were easier to scare back then. There you go, oh, yeah. see? <laughs> oh I don't know. Children's stories? They can't hurt you. I don't know about y'all, but I can't sleep in complete darkness. And definitely no noise. I need noise. All right, that's it for the first uh, Treehouse of Horror. On to the next one.